Carving Watermelon. Hi, I'm Jay Ball, author of You Too Can Create Stunning Watermelon Carvings. In this video, you will learn how to carve a watermelon using the sculpting method and how sporing the melon first helps you from straying outside your design while sculpting. I like to reference my pattern and have it handy as I'm, as I'm doing it because the pattern you can just reference. You know, some of these areas start flowing together or on, on, on real delicate carvings or intricate designs. It can be a little bit of a hassle or a pain to try and see and tell just exactly where am I, where am I going to carve. In this case, this is actually a pretty simple design. Okay, so as you can see, if you can zoom in on that real quick, there's, uh, and the camera's not going to pick up. Heck, the naked eye can't even pick it up. There, there's score lines on there. Yeah, and, uh, but if, uh, well, I actually, I don't know if you can see that eye. I just pop it out. Okay, if I take my edge of my knife and push in here and just flip, okay, it's going to, it's going to start uh, probably a better tool would be this little scooper. Uh, it's, it's a rounded, it's got a rounded edge. Let me try and... Uh, flip this pieces out. This is a little bit difficult to see, maybe even with the camera, but in a minute you'll see what's, what's going on. Is the score line... Are you zoomed in on that? Oh, God. I almost poked all the way through my design with that. Good grief. Um, if you have some nice, sharp wood carving tools, exercise the same caution as you would when you're carving wood. <laughs> a sharp tool will uh, can slip and cut you, and you don't want that to happen. As you can see from the edge of this, that when I'm peeling off pieces, as I'm starting to cut through here, it only, it'll break off right at the edge where I squirt it, so it won't go outside the lines of my design. So scoring becomes, the, uh, the value of scoring becomes evident as you start to, uh, start to peel off pieces and, and you'll just see that they break off right at the edge where you scored it. So that, that, that's what makes this helpful. You could, you could sculpt this without taking that step of scoring. But my experience, I found that it helps. One thing I want to demonstrate here with this is this fancy tool. That blade is in a square shape. I'm not sure if the camera is catching that or not. But uh, that will, if I run that along the edge, it, 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 it will cut to a certain depth. And if I take that and run it along the edge of my pump, or of a, I keep calling it a pumpkin, <laughs> of my watermelon, then what I'm getting is It will carve to an even, consistent, smooth depth throughout the whole whole design. So without me having to sit there and figure out just how deep I want it, that's already set. That's going to give me a real even, consistent design throughout this whole carving, through this whole sculpting. And so it makes it kind of nice. I've liked I've liked this tool. I've I've found it to be a a nice addition to my tool chest. Right now I have all the stuff shaved off that I want shaved off. This melon, I'm going to put a light inside of it to, uh, to illuminate it. You'll, you'll notice even without a light right now you can see what the pattern is. You can see that that's a rabbit. That's because the, the surface of the melon is dark and the flesh of the melon that I've carved away is light. So because of that contrast I can clearly see even without a light what that is. And that's kind of cool. That's why I like melons. But uh, but it even, it even is a little bit more magical when you put a light in there and it glows and that's, uh, uh, that's cool. So by sculpting it, I get kind of the best of both worlds. I get, I get a glowing melon with a light and if I don't even have a light, it's still 
it still looks cool. So um, that's kind of that's why I like the, the, the sculpting effect is because it gives me both both benefits. And when we're done, we're going to put a light in this and show you how how cool that looks. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm just taking it deeper so that that light is going to shine through. It's going to glow more. I'm going to call that done. That's the completed, finished pattern. Nice. Okay, what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to put that on a light and let it glow. In my book, you too can create stunning watermelon carvings. I will show you step by step how to create beautiful watermelon centerpiece displays for any occasion. Download the first two chapters of this book free. Go visit www.stunningwatermelons.com now.